Hello everyone, what's up? It's me, Dolly, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today's video is really fun because I'm unboxing a Disney Illy doll. It's honestly been so long since I've done this, so I can't wait. This is my little mini me. Um, she's got micro braids, I actually have twists, but she does like a dark lip and a purple eyeshadow look, and that's sort of my thing as well. Like, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. That's what I do most of the time, so I think she's probably as close as I'll be able to get. That's the Mickey Mouse Illy doll, by the way. Today we are unboxing. I had to order her online, so I'm kind of scared because I just, I don't know if she's going to look right. Uh, I'm going to turn her, so hopefully it's not spoiled for me. But apparently she has a glow-in-the-dark feature, which is actually really interesting to me. She's got these really cute little outfits I'm obsessed with. This is a Jack and Sally inspired look. I have never watched Nightmare Before Christmas, but I probably should. I love this as sort of like a emo-y, almost boho type vibe, especially with this skirt in particular but I absolutely needed these pants and obviously the doll's beautiful but let's make sure that mine looks good with the jack specific ones it's kind of a gamble sometimes the eyes are gonna be off sometimes everything will be fine let's find out <gasps> okay wait I think she's actually perfect oh heck yes okay so I cannot wait to unbox her guys and also test out her little glow-in-the-dark feature this art on the box is so cute though I just sort of want to show you guys a little bit better um just stunning really uh the disney illy dolls are just like something that i feel like is really underrated part of me wants to try and save some of this packaging because it's just like like it's so pretty okay i'm gonna unbox her off camera and i will be back to show you guys everything she comes with in better detail okay so i just got everything out of the packaging and i do have to say one quick thing that has to be one of the worst doll unboxing experiences i have had in a minute literally anything that could be secured down was secured down there was like four different little those little plastic bits in the skirt there was as many rubber bands as humanly possible so many in the hair that just stressed me out i was like i actually don't want to cut her hair off um i genuinely don't think i've had an experience like that with unboxing at all in quite a minute i didn't mention the price the doll is actually 30 dollars. the deluxe dolls are normally around 30 but to be perfectly honest um i feel like 30 is a price i'm more than willing to pay you also get an extra outfit so i just feel like it's it's totally worth it um so we're gonna start with the small stuff and the second outfit and then we're gonna get into the doll so let's start off with the smaller little things for starters we have ah, this little mickey ring that i genuinely could not care less about but uh you can wear it i'm not oh my god I'm not really the person most people probably want to see this on because my hands are just like not very cute but uh it's it's definitely this is like one of the better ones um i have another one i don't know where it went probably went missing because i didn't really care all that much about it but i feel like in theory it's cute um it's just not my favorite thing so next we have this little necklace right here next to something i'm absolutely obsessed with we have her second purse for a second outfit and I have this really cute little charm of the little ghost dog thing, I think. And it actually opens, which is really cool. Absolutely obsessed with this color. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's actually painted. Like, fully painted. Like, this is a different shade of blue. And it's, like, painted. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, the detail. Even, like, the little ghost dog having, like, its nose painted. Oh, my God. <laughs> Next, we have her boots, which I knew were a must-have. Anything sort of alternative i'm immediately intrigued by so i'm absolutely obsessed with her and these boots are so cute they're this really nice shade of this blue and it's sort of grayish with these little stitches on it i love a good combat boot and they're even a little platform so they really they really got me with that next week the second outfit i left it i left it on the little thing so i could show you guys better because i don't really feel like dressing up <laughs> at all but um we have this little shirt with these little skulls with wings on them there's lace at the top and some ruffles and next we have these pants I was talking about that I was absolutely obsessed with. You can't really tell here, but clearly in the pictures, they actually do flare out a bit at the bottom. It's really, really good. I am obsessed with these pants. I feel like I can use this for so much. Honestly, this outfit as a whole, like this shirt I could use for a lot too. Um, I'm not a Disney girl, uh, so I really, it took me a little bit to get behind the Disney Illy dolls because I was like, oh, I don't really care about Disney, but honestly even if you're not like all that into it i think we can all acknowledge that these are beautiful beautiful dolls so just like enjoy that you know okay last mini small accessory before we get into the doll and it is her purse that comes with her main outfit i'm assuming this is sally on the front um super super cute it's a little clutch look at the detail on this thing like oh my god like even like this little charm 
I don't know, I just feel like this is such, like, oh my god, like, I don't know. I'm so excited about all this. This is so cute. I'm very, very happy I have this. And also expect more Disney Illy videos to start coming to this channel because I bought so many of them recently. <laughs> it's my new fascination, hyperfixation. I'm just obsessed with Disney Illy dolls right now. All right, so here is the doll in all her beauty. Like I said, I got them with a really, really good screening. Obsessed with her makeup. It is absolutely stunning. She has a brown eye with like a dark purple lip and I just love it with her skin tone and her hair combined. Like it's beautiful. She has this little streak in her hair. This is the uh, color change one. I think in the promo pictures it looks pretty different than mine does though because you guys can see like a full half. Like at least a quarter of her head is covered with that streak. Mine is just like a clump and I can't tell if it's because it's not brushed out because it is sort of gelled down but I, it's, it's like super cute. It kind of reminds me of um Rogue from X-Men and she has her little earrings again she's very much like she's very much alternative and i love that i'm obsessed with these earrings they're super cute she has a shirt that says master of fright i'm assuming that's a reference to the movie but i love that disney illy clothing has this little like illy tag on the side and her skirt oh my gosh her skirt guys is this not the cutest thing ever i love how like oh and it feels good too like that's another thing like these dolls oh everything is such good quality like this fabric feels good i just like it's not like that papery stuff that barbie's been using lately like this is like this is good stuff i'm so sorry i just i cannot get over how amazing this is we need to buy more because i actually cannot lose this doll line and then of course she has her little sneakers with i'm assuming jack on the sides they're just purple converse i will always love the opportunity to get more sneakers in my doll collection and these are super super cute i'm actually obsessed with her um she has to be one of my new favorite illy dolls i might even love her more than my mini me my mini me is the first one i got i got her because she's micro braid and that's really all i needed um yeah that's really what got me into illy i mean not really though because i got her a year ago i don't know whenever she first came out and I'm just now getting my second one, so <laughs> I was only kind of into it. Ooh, oh my god, I almost forgot. I was literally about to end the video, but I have to test out this glow-in-the-dark feature. Um, let me turn off all the lights in here. I don't even know, I don't think it's dark enough in here for you to actually like see it. Here, wait, let me get my thing off here. Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Mine is, can you guys see it all the way over there? I don't know, like I feel like I'm in pretty darkness. It's pretty dark. <laughs> To be honest, I think I may just have to like charge her up in the sunlight, which realistically she will not be coming into contact with much. I really don't have my dolls out in sunlight. Like I live in the basement and I purposefully block off any light because I <laughs> am so paranoid of my dolls getting sun damage, which is so stupid. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, silly adult collector things. It's not necessary, but I still do it. So I think I'm actually gonna end it because it's not like the glow in the dark gimmick is something I actually care about. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe because I'm definitely going to be posting more Disney Elite videos. I got a bunch on the way. Um, and be sure to like the video because I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye!